Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a CDC split wing cripple. The hook I have in the vise is a standard dry fly hook. This is a size 16. I'm going to use a uh, Hemingway thread and this is black. I'm going to start the thread behind the eye and we're going to move that thread to the center point. Bring that halfway and then we're going to bring that back up half of that and remove that. Now for the wing I have my CDC and we want to line those tips up and basically what I'm going to do is just take this all and just push it all up to the front there. And I'm going to use, I have a pair here and I'm going to use two for the other side. So I'm going to measure that wing to be the length of the hook shank. I'm going to go ahead and tie that in. I'm going to lift that wing up and I'm going to put a couple of wraps right around the base of that wing. And secure that. Go ahead and trim that off. And now what you have left is perfect CDC to use in your dubbing block for a different fly. And this CDC that I'm using, it's it's a very dark olive, but it will do for a for a dawn or a slate colored dark wing mayfly. I'm going to take another pair and we're going to tie these in, measure those, measure that wing, get them aligned nicely, measure that wing up to the other one, I'm going to go ahead and get this tail or this backside removed before I wrap the wing. I'm going to go and bring that thread up. I'm going to grab the two that were on my side. And keep it, get this far one out of the way there by standing that up more. Go ahead and turn your vise if you have to and put a couple of wraps right around that base we have a nice divided wing there and I need to put that one a little bit closer there we go I'm going to put a little bit of moisture on them just to, to hard with CDC just to kind of control them there a little bit. Then we move our thread back to the tail position. It's an easy fly and a very effective one. Now for the tail, you know I love fishing the mergers instead of full full blown duns. I have a very very small piece of the boot lace. This is a brown. And this is going to be our shuck. I actually like that curve in it. I'm going to go ahead and tie this in. Really doesn't matter how long it is hanging off the back. You can trim it. This is very long hanging off the back. You can trim it or you can pull it to size. And that looks about good. Give it a few more securing wraps. Put a couple of wraps in front. Go ahead and trim that off. Now the material I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Olive GSS. I'm going to just take small amounts of this because I want to make a nice skinny noodle. We're going to just dub this. 
GSS always dubs better if you have moisture on your fingers. Turn that a little bit sideways so I can get my fingers in there without hitting things. Put a little bit more on there. Really just a few strands is all you need. Then go ahead and make that noodle. This is very similar to my flight, the stuck in the muck, which works really good. But we're going to have this nice split wing cripple here. We're going to go ahead and wrap that. Come back. And then I'm going to go forward. Then I'm going to go pick those wings up. Wrap it in front of them. And then tie that head. And you can tie these down as into the 20s if you want. The GSS material is just, there's just something about it that, that attracts the fish. It's just unbelievable. Still got our nice split wing there. Take our whip finish. Give that a little tug. Turn that off. I'm going to put a little bit of head cement on the bottom there. Clean that off nice. When you're doing GSS, you want to use a minimal amount of head cement. Because the, the head cement, actually just about anything, actually melts the GSS materials. Which is a good thing because it turns it into, it melts it into one. Now I can just go ahead and kind of adjust my wings the way, the way I want them. And here we have a GSS split wing cripple done. Hope you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. If you'd like to purchase any flies that I tie, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the Flyman Gym. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.